All right, guys. Now, you have, may have been exposed to this platform already if you looked into your financial aid or during your class registration. But here, we want to be able to look into our timesheet and submit it to our supervisors. So we're going to click under employee and we're going to look for our timesheet area. So go ahead and click time entry and there you'll get access to the pay periods. Now we have access to the weeks within our pay period. I would like to say don't mind the information here. I'm using a guest account, but you'll see your title and you'll see the green approved for the weeks that you submit your time entry as a confirmation. Now let's get into one to input some time. So this is how the interface of a week period looks like. Over here, I'm going to do some basic entry. So for instance, if you work on Monday from 9 to 12 p.m., this is how you would input it. So you go and select 9 a.m. and you select 12 p.m. And, and you can see that you'll find a total amount of hours on the bottom. So it gives you a better idea and you can correct yourself and you can add comments if you'd like to your supervisor. And after you're done with everything, just make sure that you hit the submit for approval button so that your supervisor can review and approve your time entry for this week period. After submission, you'll see the success button, but now I want to go to the next week to give you a, an example if you have a long shift. You'll see the plus button, so if you work a long day and you take a lunch in between, the plus button will allow you to add that second shift. So you'll see there the 2 to 4 p.m. And once you review, you'll see the total amount of hours down below. And once you confirm everything is correct, you hit the submit for approval so that your supervisor can review it and approve that for you. If there are any corrections that you have to make, your supervisor will reject the time entry on their end. So after we're done inputting the hours for the weeks within the pay period, we're going to review that everything was properly submitted, which we'll see in yellow. And what is in green it was already approved by our supervisor. So there, that's a basic idea of how you do the time entry.